Now, let me introduce you to my guest today. The movie industry in Nigeria has definitely witnessed massive growth over the last few years. And take this from me on Arise 360, it's not slowing down anytime soon because we have new stars being born every day. Now, we've all heard about the multi-choice talent factory. West Africa. I'm sure some people have even thought, oh, is it even a real thing? Do they even pick up like Nigerians? Is it just a joke? Well, believe it or not, it has produced new talents that are ready, very ready to take the industry by storm. And today I have the cast of a new film produced by one of its alumni. Now this is a final student project for a film titled Grown. And like I said, if you've seen 13 going on 30, where the young girl wanted to be older, but then she wished it and then it happened and then she wanted to be young again. Well, let's just say this story kind of gives us that vibe. And uh, according to the producer, he shot this film in three months. Now, it will be showing on African Magic at some point and we'll even get on the platform Showmax. But the most important part of this story is when given the opportunity and the visibility for a lot of filmmakers, this is the kind of work they can produce. Take a look at the trailer for Grown. Imagine Waking up into a life that is not your own. Mom! Mom! Good morning, baby. Could this be a midlife crisis? One second, you're a teenager. My friend, you are too young to be wearing makeup. You don't want to attract the wrong kind of attention. I'm 17. I hope you bring condoms. What am I doing to do? To fight war. How can you be planning to attend a party on a school night when you should be at home studying for your upcoming work exams? I wish I was grown. You're old. Be careful what you wish for. How is married life? <laughs> I don't know. I'm married. I don't care. You do yes! not! I that you were never born. What kind of mother are you? I wish I you were my mother. mother. To be grown hmm? is more than just playing a role. But I'm only 17. What am I so. What am I supposed to do? Well, joining us in Arise 360 to discuss their new film, Grown, Sarah Obiakwe and Halima Gagino. Congratulations on this new project that you help bring to life, I would say, because you both are actors on it. So quick question, I'm gonna, um, Sarah, yes. I'm gonna start with you, Sarah. Um, when you think about growing up, have you ever just wanted to be older? Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. <laughs> okay, so I think um, growing up at some point, you know, teenage life, you're like rebellious and stuff, so that you're like, why is she mom always telling me to do this? Uh -huh. I, I wish I was grown, so you don't have to tell me what to do. Yeah. I wish I'll be out of your house. And <laughs> when you grow, you're like, oh, my miss do this. Back, right? <laughs> what about you, Halima? Okay, so you know how a few years, or like two years back, when this whole adulthood has come, things are like going around? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that there was this narrative that was pushed to us as kids that, oh, once you're an adult, like once you graduate from university, mm -hmm. like things are just better. Mm -hmm. So what, when, when I was young, I was always looking forward to that. Like, I just wanted to graduate from university, be on my own, like, start making money, you know? I know. We all wanted to be grown. You, to be honest, I, 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 Lade was the one who said adulthood is a scam. I do agree yes. with her. And I think the hardest part of adulthood is the responsibility that comes with it. The fact that you are officially responsible, responsible for your yourself. choices yeah. and you have to deal with that. But I'm most excited about this movie because we hardly see stories like this. So you play, um, what's your character's name in the film? my character's name yeah <laughs> well whatever your character is she is the girl who is hoping to be, to be older yeah and if a really plays the, the older, older version yes. which is weird because you guys actually look alike yeah i've been told that a lot yeah so when you were in that character what was it about that role that really really spoke to you as an individual i guess i could resonate with the character of How wanting so? to like i said earlier wanting to grow up mm -hmm. even if when you're not ready you just because of your rebellious nature and the stubbornness in you, you're like, I want to do this, I want to do that. Even though it's not right for you, you're like, mm -hmm. I want to do this because once you're out of your parents' care, care you feel like you can do anything and then everything will go for like, it's not the truth. It's not because you still need that, that was the word, that back, is it bone. bone, yeah. It's like show. Yeah. Now, Halima, you play her best friend in the film. So what was it like realizing that your best friend is now older? 
Uh, okay, so um, first of all, I didn't even like, I didn't get to see that part. Okay. So it was like the after effect of having grown and then, you know, coming back to her normal self that I saw. Uh -huh. So we're like the happening girls in school okay. and then we're like bullies and, you know, people mm -hmm. fed us and all of that. And then all of a sudden she came back and she didn't want to be a part of the gang anymore. Oh. And then she was acting all, you know, self-righteous and uh -huh. we, d we couldn't understand it. Yeah. Because of the experience Friends. you had. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I like the fact that the film touches and themes such as bullying because that is such a huge thing, especially amongst younger people. What is it, this thing about being young that just sometimes it makes us feel like we've got, is it a thing of troll them or or you or, or, or risk being trolled? What is it about young people that just makes it okay, especially in secondary schools? Like this click thing, bullies, I have to confess, I was not very nice in secondary school. I mean, I was a terror. Oh but what is it about secondary school that sometimes just makes you so, angry about life? I think the, you feel you're better than others. It, it depends on sometimes the rich kids. They feel uh -huh. they're better than others. Some, there's this movie I've seen, like scholarship kids don't get the same opportunities as those that actually pay because you're not supposed to be here. You're on scholarship. Who yeah. are you to uh -huh. walk mm -hmm. the same path as us? Uh -huh. So like, I think in the teenage mind is like, I'm better than you. My family does more than you. I can get to where you People can't actually get to. So, huh, you'll be surprised. Is that a joke? I'm not sure. Some people actually think like that. <laughs> no. Well, that's one way to look at it. What about you? What do you think it is? Um, so I think it has to do with, um, you know, that teenage um, rebellious stage. And... Um, the fact that teenagers are going through a lot. Like what? I'm sorry. <laughs> you would be surprised. You were just talking about you getting don't... older. You don't think, I mean, I don't want to be, uh, what's the word, insensitive towards, but I, I, I mean, I'm, I was a teenager at some point in time. Do you know my biggest, my biggest, I, sometimes I'm like, gosh, the big, if I could have those problems <laughs> now. Yeah, 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 true, getting my like, work, true. getting good grades, yeah. because, yo, I love the arts. I've always, so I always wanted to be in the theater, you know, doing something. I, I hated school, but then I had to study. So my biggest problem was, how do I figure out this further math thing or this <laughs> physics thing? Yeah, yeah. So what I think that, is? first of all, so I, I am part of an NGO that deals with children's mental health. Mm -hmm. So I think that, first of all, we have, to, we have to realize that children's emotions count and that whatever they are feeling, like, it matters. Mm -hmm. So be, but because of the kind of environment that we find ourselves, parents do not think that your emotions count. So even when you're acting out and they're supposed to, like, gently counsel you, they are not doing that. They are being very harsh to you. So I think that the school becomes, like, an environment where they can just, you know, they are not under their parents' care anymore. They can't just, you know, yeah. let's go and, you know, sometimes in that letting go. The, what they get at home, they yeah. take it out on other people. other people, their frustration. Like their juniors. Yeah, yeah. like yes. their juniors, the bullying, exactly. they take it out on their juniors. You know, I, I, I definitely can relate to that because when I was in, I was in boarding school and then there were so many people who, you know, I would just find, what did this junior do? Something that doesn't make any sense, but then she's under the bed. <laughs> or she's inside a wardrobe, she's fetching like 10 buckets of water. I'm like, is this what this girl was, is this what mm. Jesus died on the cross for? Like, uh -huh. why is she doing all of this? But now, here's, I, I was having this conversation with a relative the other day, and uh, I would always say, like, I'm an advocate for gentle parenting, because uh, there's a lot of adults walking around with so much so trauma. trauma. Uh -huh. But now, someone said to me that, Kachi, while gentle parenting is valid, you do realize that you are who you are today in terms of discipline and hard work because of the things you went through. So it got me thinking that are we raising our young people to become weak because we're trying not to traumatize them? Well, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> personally, I'm a, I'm a fan of gentle parenting too. Uh, but then I also realized that there are times when you have to be like, you know, a bit stern, stern yeah. with mm -hmm. them. But at the same time, who is to say that you would not still turn out to be this, you know, beautiful, yes. strong if person you gentle, if yeah. you had gentle parenting? Yeah, okay. So it, it really doesn't matter because there are children who had very, yeah. very stern parents who didn't turn out well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I it's, think they won't turn out to be worse. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, there is no template for parenting, honestly. Hmm. I agree. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. But now this film, grown, because we're talking about growing up and being grown. Now growing up right? If, and I'm going to have you guys say the same thing, if I look back and I said to myself, well, what is the one thing that you feel like should be different? Maybe from your own personal experience, you're like, looking back at this is something that I feel a lot of young people could really use in terms of 
feeling content in their age? If you, if I'm going to answer that so you guys feel comfortable, I would say it is appreciating every stage of your life, when you're 11, when you're 12. I think the biggest thing I miss is I really do not remember being 15 or because I was always, I, I, I grew up so fast. So sometimes I'm like, wait a minute, I was confused. When was 15? When was 14? Because, you know, so I feel like, and I always felt the need to just grow up quickly because it's like, there's work to be done. I need yeah. to do this, I need to do that. So that's what it will be for me, allowing children be children. So what would it be for you? Hmm. Um, I think that um, it would. I think. I think. Um, I think. I also have the same opinion as okay. you. So yes, it would. It would. It would definitely be allowing children be children because mm -hmm. um, we grow up so fast. <laughs> Honestly, we grow up so fast, and I think that can also be evidenced in the movie. Yes. Alone. Yes. Like. It, literally true. it's like one minute you're a child oh, and then the next, the next minute you find out yeah. that you're an adult and then you have to navigate through a lot of things so i also think that it would also be like preparing children in the right way to become adults because like i said there was this narrative while growing up that oh being a grown-up person like it's it's all you know nice and all of that and i think that that was why her character wanted to be so, so grown because <laughs> like oh once i'm an adult like things are just going to right. like things yeah. are going to go right yeah. but at the end of the day even as an adult at, like like the adult you, like her life was out of control. Yeah. Like she could, she, she, she still couldn't control it even as an adult. So we yeah. have to realize that whether you're a child or you're an adult, like things will happen that are not like in your control. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Step, yeah. Yes. step by step, step by what step. What about you? Is that your own take, step by step? Uh, I would say for the, ch the children aspect, some things that your parents are trying to tell you that, okay, this is not, they're actually right. <laughs> Let's be honest. We don't, we don't want to accept it, but some things yeah, our parents right did for us or Where stopped us from doing is actually for our own good and when you look back you're like oh thank goodness i didn't do that thank goodness for the yeah. strict parenting you see big ups to parents because you know sometimes <laughs> those things they are saying it's valid it's well yeah. sarah helima thank you guys so much and congratulations on your film thank you when is it coming out on africa magic okay so it's coming out on africa magic showcase on 2nd of March. 2nd of March. And then Urban on the 9th of March. Fantastic. And then it's coming to show Max some Eventually. new feelings. <laughs> well, again, congratulations to you both.